Who commits violence? Let's explore the question of who can be a perpetrator of violence in the workplace. It is a broad spectrum, and you might be surprised to learn that it encompasses anyone who steps into the workplace. Let's break it down. From customers and clients to third-party vendors, incidents involving workplace violence can stem from various interactions within your business. Often, we tend to associate workplace violence with the interaction between coworkers and managers, which is indeed a common scenario with a high incident rate. We need to consider situations involving workers caught in the midst of criminal acts. Picture a robbery scenario where the perpetrator resorts to violence, perhaps assaulting or attacking someone during the process. This too falls under the realm of workplace violence, unrelated to any protected class, but central to the criminal act itself. Furthermore, domestic violence can spill into the workplace. Instances where personal issues like jealousy or suspicions of infidelity lead individuals to attempt violent acts at the workplace are unfortunately not uncommon. Now, shifting gears to the profile of those likely to commit workplace violence, problem employees with a history of grievances, low performance, and a tendency to resort to violence as an outlet for their frustrations fall into this profile. Substance abusers, those with a track record of violence, perfectionists, obsessed with their work, and individuals who struggle with relationships and criticisms are also potential candidates. The propensity for workplace violence can be linked to loners, people who hold grudges, and those unable to let go of the past issues. While not everyone fitting this profile will act violently, these indicators help us understand and address the propensities associated with workplace violence.